I had the thermostat bypass running the unit. Bypassing the thermostat. D2DNY, real world HVAC simplified. And so this is uh, part two of the video. Part one. Well, I guess this is part two. So this is the thermostat end of the wires of the wiring from the indoor unit that I did with the relays and stuff and the time delay. So you see I got R, W, or W1, W2, Y, G, and C. And yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and just put this thermostat on and uh, set it up, set it up. All right, stay tuned for the ride. Once again, this is D2DNY, Real World HVC Simplified. And my videos is unedited, okay? So let me go ahead and do the setup on this so you can see the setup based on my setup, I guess my wiring configuration and stuff. All right, so basically, let's go. So we're gonna go start set up. We're gonna set up. Use use Honeywell Home app. Nope, I'm not doing that. I'm leaving that for the client or the customer. So I'm gonna go nope. Uh, scheduling. Do I want? I don't care right now. Let me just go with that. That's up to the customer. All right. No outdoor temperature sensor. So go next. Here, I do have a heat pump system. Even though it's a heat pump, or it's a, it's a heat pump, I am going to select conventional. So that's already selected. Move forward. Um, equipment, uh, type of equipment, gas. Um, gas, I think. No, let's just see what we got here. Hit it. Gas. Oil, electric, fan coil. That's me right here. Okay, done. So I got hot water coil, so I select that. Cooling stages, only one. Next, heating stage, stages. We want to hit it that because we have, we're using the boiler or the hot water coil as stage one. And we're going to use the heat pump as stage two based on my wiring config, okay? And if you haven't seen that video, it's here. It's, a, it's on YouTube. I've uploaded it prior to this video. So go watch that, okay? So two stages of heat, done. All right, so again, hot water, boiler is my first stage and the heat pump is my backup. And um, basically I'm, I'm gonna set up, oh, wait a second here, thermostat. Fan control, um, thermostat, thermostat control of the fan. I think so. Mm. Let's see here. What do we have? Thermostat equipment, thermostat equipment. Uh, I'm gonna leave it at uh, thermostat. How about that? Done. All right, cool cycle, cool cycle per hour. I'm gonna leave that as default. Heat one cycle per hour, default. And uh, heat two cycle per hour, I'm gonna hit it that, and I'm gonna lower it. So not only do I have a time delay set for 10 minutes, whenever we call for a second stage of heat, which is gonna be the heat pump, compressor outside. Also, it is gonna be even more of a long delay. If it does turn that on, it's going to be very little because that, that would mean that your boiler is not working and we had ex we had gone past that 10 minutes delay the temperature is not going up we then turn it on and it won't cycle as much so this is the plan it's only worst case scenario i want to use those heat pump uh I'll heat pump or the compressor for heating the boiler is the primary heat that's just a weird setup but uh, it is what it is i mean i can do it so i do it no indoor sensor um, I guess none for that as well. No vent type, no. 
finish yes I look bad okay and uh today's uh, we got a seven uh, what days i think today is the uh i'm not sure what day today's 20 21st 721 oh this is gonna go select i think we are in uh 21st Select yes, daylight saving time. No, yeah. twelve o'clock. Select. He said my clock, so we go. It's about seven p.m. right now. I think so. Or six p.m. Six thirty p.m. Damn, I'm working late. Yeah, on the grind, right? That's how we do it over here at D2D. Customer want his job done. And we get it done. All right, so here we are. Let's go ahead and put our fan on just to test. So all you naysayers saying that my wiring config won't work. Here we go, fan. on wait for it and uh i want to leave this so the fan is on if you want to see what it looks like here is a, a vent right there on vent another vent right here Tons of airflow. All right, we're gonna go outside to the condensing unit or outdoor unit in a second. There's another vent. And this is the hatch. The air handler's up here. Okay. Another vent right there. Nice. Is that a pool? Yes, it is. Very nice. Okay. Uh, here is uh, another vent right here in the bathroom. Uh, again, once again, this is a job done by D to D and Y. Here's some leftover flex, and right, this is a kitchen area, I suppose. Another vent, another vent, All right? And this, I suppose, is the living area. I I don't know. Uh, so I have vents all the way over here, one here, and one there. Okay, so let's go put the cooling on and, and go outside. I actually have the upstairs unit running already. Upstairs is already on and running. This is the downstairs added bypass. That's why it's just cooling here. All right, so let me put the cooling on. Um, so let me go fan, auto, mode, cool. And I want to just lower the sucker down. Lower the sucker down. I want a permanent hold. Permanent hold. There we go. Now the cooling is not on as yet because it's flashing. It's time delay. In the meantime, let's take a walk upstairs. I'm not finished yet. I have to install the, uh, the grills upstairs. I only did so far the return grill. So far, only the return grill. Now here is the thermostat here. I did the same configuration up here anyways, by the ways, um, as I did downstairs in the attic or for the attic. Okay, so here is the uh, two supplies, the bedroom, master bedroom. And I got another grill over here. So that's all good. And then uh, got another. One in here is the closet, a small one. And it's balanced all the way down too, so there's not much airflow coming out of that. Another one here for the bathroom. Boom. Oh, uh, yeah, return. Yeah, another one in here. 
bathroom. Uh, there is my tools and these gloves. Okay, same unit as in the attic. Okay, same exact thing. Here is the schematic. I remember what I did. Watch the previous video and you'll have the schematic how I did all the wiring to make this hot water fan coil or, 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 or hot water coil <clears throat> as the primary heat and the heat pump this is a heat pump um, condenser and no I didn't insulate this line I didn't care to insulate this line because again this this uh, the heat pump is only emergency like it boilers down basically the boiler is efficient enough or enough to take care of the heating in the house if it's really cold and we have a cold start then uh oh man, it's that cold in here guys oh, wow here's condensation in the glass wow it's nice and nice and chilly in there. another vent right here so yeah, uh, if 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 we if we if the system was off and we have a cold start, yeah, of course it's gonna go for second stage after about uh, uh, I don't know maybe 15 minutes after startup because I have a 10 minute 10 minutes delay on the time delays. So <clears throat> even first stage turn on first, then by the time we get to second stage, we have to wait 10 more minutes. Let's see if this thing is ready. Okay, we are on. Let's go see our condenser. And you see here, that means the Wi-Fi, we're not, we're not on Wi-Fi. We're not on Wi-Fi and I'm gonna leave that for the client. Where's that manual? It's not my responsibility, I'll leave that for them. Here it is. Voila, how about that? All right, let's take a walk out to our condensing unit, outdoor unit. So yeah, if it's really, really cold, it will definitely bring it on, but it will turn off quickly. It won't stay on and it will actually help to give extra heat and along with the boiler and to, uh, to, to, to heat the space really fast. All right. Gauges on ice side. Nice and cold and sweating. Now this is the big unit. This is a four ton. This is a 48. This is the one that's in the attic. That's the one for the second floor. That's the one for the first floor. It's about 80 degrees out here. Or 78. Okay. Oh, let me show you the wires. Here's the wiring. This is the one from that I did from the uh, attic space. 24 volts hot, reversing valve, cooling number, or just white one. Here's that. Okay, so like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that notification icon or button so that every time I drop a video, you'll get notified. I do upload the videos on a weekly basis, real world, real time, real HVAC, simplified.